Diabetes affects over 30 million people in the U.S., with 40 million more on the verge of developing the disease. With 1.5 million Americans newly diagnosed every year, diabetes continues to increasingly impact families. This is a huge problem in our country. There are many children with the juvenile onset autoimmune form of diabetes and many, many people now that have the adult onset, the mature form of diabetes. It's the uh, number one reason for blindness, number one reason for kidney failure, number one reason for amputations. It's a big problem. Researcher and surgeon Dr. George Giddis and his team at UPMC Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh have found a way to reprogram cells within the pancreas. Dr. Giddis's novel procedure and reprogramming technology could allow a diabetic to once again regulate their own blood sugar without the need for insulin injections. The basic principle involves gene therapy. The standard way that gene therapy is done is by using what nature's already created, which are these special viruses that are good at getting genes into cells. What we've done is engineered viruses that have the ability to insert into cells two very important genes that control insulin and how insulin's made and also the definition of the cell. The cell that is not an insulin producing cell or a beta cell has these genes introduced into it. There's a good chance that they will convert into this insulin producing beta cell. Rather than giving the virus throughout the whole body where it's gonna infect all kinds of cells throughout the body, we developed a technique that allows us to just infuse it into the pancreas only by going through the little tube that drains the pancreatic juices into the intestine. There's a similar infusion or injection done in humans all the time. It's called an endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, or more commonly just called ERCP. And it's used for many reasons, although it's never been used for anything like this. I would believe that this procedure and this approach has the clearest or fastest path to humans because we are successful in converting these alpha cells into the insulin producing beta cells in mice and in monkeys. So that makes us feel that's really on the brink of human trials. Our intervention that we do is the only time anyone's ever shown an ability through a single intervention or even multiple interventions to cure the diabetes without suppressing their immune system. This strategy would be to essentially create a whole new group of uh, insulin producing cells within the body itself that naturally respond to elevations in the blood sugar by releasing insulin and keeping the blood sugar at a level that's appropriate for uh, normal bodily functions. This procedure has shown to be effective in current research studies and could soon represent a new therapeutic approach to the treatment of diabetes. This research is at a critical juncture. We need to scale. We need to show in efficacy studies that this approach works. We are very close to clinical trials for a disease that is devastating to so many people. Offer hope. Give a cure. 